Hello, welcome to our channel Contemporary Literary Review India. In this interview, I am with the author Dr. Rajamouli Katta. Dr. Katta is a professor of English by profession and a poet, short story writer, essayist, critic and translator by passion. To his credit, he has published more than 45 books till date that include 13 poetry compodiums, 10 short story collections, 9 novels, 4 criticism, 2 translation and 3 postdoctoral research thesis. He is currently working as a professor and head with the Department of English at Ganpati Engineering College, Vagdevi Group of Institutions, Warangal, Telangana. He has been teaching the postgraduate students American literature and methods of English teaching in India for more than 20 years at the Warangal Regional Study Center of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad. Before I move ahead, please subscribe to our channel. Good morning, Dr. Raja Molikatta. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Welcome to our channel. Uh, thank this you, is the thank first you. time that you are coming to um, um, our audience. So would you please introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to introduce myself to your audience. I am a professor of English by vocation, poet, short story writer, dramatist, then a novelist, all these uh, genres I touched by avocation. So this, as a poet, I have written 3000 and odd poems. Nearly 180 poems were published in different uh, journals. Uh -huh. a journal, famous journals like uh, uh, this poet crit and uh, CLRI, like uh, you are a journal, many journals uh, they have featured. So these, you no, know, uh, these are the poems published and uh, came to the notice of uh, great people like uh, Chambial. And Chambial uh, wrote a criticism on my poem, a oh. poem of mine, uh, time. Hmm. He has written critical appreciation and that was also published in uh, a journal. So that is, uh, as a poet, uh, I contributed a lot. And then uh, as a poet, I got a third prize. Uh, this, you know, in the poetry contest uh, conducted by uh, Metworth Muse. It is okay. from uh, Vishakapatnam, Vishakapatnam. Okay, okay. So this is as a poet. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a short story writer, I have written 200 uh, short stories. Oh, Some okay. of my, a few of my short stories you published in CLRI, then uh, in other journals also, my stories uh, featured. These uh, stories are, are uh, on different concepts, like uh, this untouchability and uh, indifferent attitude, communalism, and et cetera. Et cetera. And on uh, various topics, I have written these uh, 200 short stories. They are, uh, some are, uh, some of the collections uh, have been published and some are ready for uh, publication. As a novelist, I have written uh, nine novels. Oh, the first great. one is the uh, first. Uh, thank you. The first one is Rajarshin Quest of Peace, and it is about the world peace and what is going on in the world. I have narrated all the incidents that are uh, taking place in the world, mm. and uh, just now I wanted to tell about uh, the necessity of peace in the world. So that I wrote. Next uh, novel is. Uh, Child, uh, smart child. It is a it is a novel on uh, child psychology. Another thing is uh, another novel, the tears of uh, tears and smiles of Telangana. It is telling about uh, the movement of Telangana. And the next one is uh, tears of uh, uh, tears of uh, Telangana. Uh, that is another one. And uh, tears of uh, tribal hamlets. This is uh, telling about uh, the problems of uh, tribals. Okay, okay. Like that, uh, many novels, a bent flow. It is telling about women's freedom, and uh, other novels are also there on uh, different concepts. And skits also have written, and they are also aiming at uh, the reforming of uh, the society. Society, and what is uh, impressing? Uh, what is uh, 
the influence the influence on me is because of the society and what are uh, there is no taking place in society against our will and wish and uh, they are impressing me to write all the things i wish that uh, the, the problems that are confronting the society should be solved that is uh, my introduction many other things are also there i have written uh, this no uh, ss uh, ss uh, and other things mm. i have totally have written uh, 54 books so far oh, 54 oh. books oh my god that is a very oh. big list <laughs> yes yes a big list <laughs> okay okay actually you are uh, in the academic field so obviously it may be very easy to uh, read and then obviously to write uh, frequently so but still yes. i would like to know how did you start creative writing as a teacher i taught uh, many poets wordsworth robert frost philip larkin rabindranath tagore mainly these poets impressed me a lot i feel like uh, writing like uh, wordsworth and robert frost they are very very understandable even uh, children common readers can understand his, their poetry so i feel like uh, writing uh, like uh, those poets i have written uh, many poems on uh, the snow with the concepts of nature love then the society these are the themes on which i have written my poems okay my poems. okay 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 so as you already mentioned that you have written so many books okay so okay so which type of books have you written more like uh, poetry anthology or uh, stories or uh, uh, fiction or what i have i like poetry very much that's why i write uh, poetry very often mm. and other thing other genres also i touch but uh, this uh, poetry is you no know, close in my mind uh, spontaneously and they are like uh, there's no flowers on the you know there's no on the tree mm. and uh, leaves on the branch i get ideas automatically in my mind i write uh, poems only and about uh, as i told you uh, 3000 and odd uh, poems i have written and oh. among 3000 and uh, 40 poems there are uh, haiku haiku poems also haiku okay. poems uh, 1400 like that uh, i have written haiku pieces Hmm. and they have been published in uh, poet uh, this no metverse muse okay, and okay. they are published this uh, haiku poems and other poems okay hmm. okay right okay can you mention a few books that uh, have uh, brought uh, good acc- accolades or uh, good feedback or criticism from uh, others uh, on your book yes uh, my second collection of poems cherish cherries it is uh, a, the best collection and uh, first uh, this bit debate collection is there first collection is there but this you know i have written uh, uh, keeping in view the children hmm. is in a common language and it is juvenile juvenile collection the second one is uh, the cherish cherish it you know for which uh, iv chalpatra famous uh, this you know what uh, editor wrote uh, forward to this appreciating my poems and uh, some of my poems have been uh, you know uh, anthologized and my poems uh, enriched uh, you know the dance of the peacock an anthology came from the world and uh, this you know vivekananda ja published this all these uh, poems you know, taking poems so collecting poems from uh, different uh, uh, from the authors of uh, mm. the world mm. uh, and they are from specially from india and my poems are there and time is one of the poems uh, uh, on which uh, this uh, dc chambial wrote okay this critical appreciation critical appreciation mm-hmm. and that was uh, published in uh, uh, this you no know, contemporary vibes published mm-hmm. okay okay yes. okay so what are the uh, topics that you deal in uh, poems particularly yes my first topic is you know life general life in general and what is life life is is what uh, it is run by it is governed by time main topic is life and time nature then uh, the society uh, all these the main these are the main concepts that i cover in my poetry okay uh, this for example uh, life is there how do we spend our life 
and what are the stages in our life and this life goes from childhood to this no ultimate stage and uh, i take up all the stages and uh, ultimately this life becomes mortal this life is after all temporary and it is uh, mortal and uh, at the same time it is futile also futile means uh, we have many desires we have many desires in the passage of time what happens is the desires will collapse they will be destroyed and we expect something and something else will take place and uh, this futility of life has been described in my poems okay. and at the same time nature nature's description you know describing all kinds of seasons uh, and uh, then uh, this uh, the life around us it is called society what is going on in the, the society i describe and the writer has to write about uh, the society in which he lives in he lives and without touching society if we write so it goes waste and what uh, if poetry is meant for reformation it is for reforming the people so i take up this project society and try to point out uh, the evils in society so that uh, uh, it will uh, bring about some changes as per my wish okay 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 uh, yes sir that that's great nice to hear uh, this and um, so what are the primary subjects that you deal in fiction particularly stories short stories ah okay fiction okay fiction okay yeah, in fiction uh if the first one is there my first novel rajarshin quest of peace it's a novel running to 400 uh, pages it is not dealing with peace communalism and what are uh, going on in the, in society the society is full of evil social evils and uh, this is against uh, the wishes of uh, an ideal man they should be corrected they should be reformed and that uh, first in the first novel peace world peace uh, is the first is the concept of uh, the novel and the second one is you know, second uh, this is you no know, child smart child it is a novel dealing with uh, children's psychology how do the children face problems when they are separated from their parents and such a you no know, plight that uh, situation has been described in uh, in the novel the smart child it is uh, uh, very psychological uh, dealing with psychological concepts of the child parents all those and uh, this one tears of uh, telangana tears and smiles of telangana in fact in this telangana was uh, uh, united in andhra pradesh earlier and it was separated and this you no know, people of telangana wanted some employment uh, they thought that uh, because of this you no know, andhra ruling ruling of andhra uh, leaders they, they thought that uh, they had lost all their opportunities they started movement in 1969 and they were able to achieve this their goal and ultimately they got the separate statehood Uh, statehood and it, uh, it is the 29th state of india and in okay. that uh, uh, 29th state okay. another one is there here so uh, tribal hamlets hmm. nowadays uh, this you no know, tribal hamlets are ignored tribal people are facing many problems and i have uh, delineated all kinds of problems that were uh, faced by these tribal people i am going to this you know, present this book to uh, new president president <laughs> okay okay so um, um, was there any movement really to uh, um, in, uh, for for a demand of telangana separate state yes yes it was there uh, twice in 1969 okay. it was there and okay. it uh, started and the leaders were supporting Okay. and chinaradi was there chinaradi was there but he withdrew he stopped okay. doing it and okay. but it was closed down again this case here the present case mm. present chief minister he undertook it and he started and based on that concept only water this employment and all those you no know, uh, these things he showed and these are the problems we should uh, we should overcome these problems solve these problems when we get separate state court we are uh, Uh, we will be able to solve all the problems he thought and uh, so these people uh, went on strike you no know, different types of uh, this you no know, protest they expressed ultimately uh, these telangana people got separate state 
Yes, so actually, there was uh, there was uh, there was movement. There was okay. movement. Okay, actually, we know little about this movement. Okay, because yes, I think yes, that yes, the movement are... itself was uh, uh, very uh, uh, not very prominent, right? Uh, is it? Yes, yes. it's not prominent. Hmm. It was it is internal problem, not uh, a national problem. Internal problem hmm. in the state only in the state. No, they felt they felt that it was a problem and uh, they were uh, telangana people were not getting any employment and uh, there was a partiality and andhra people were given importance and the telangana people were ignored they these were the feelings of uh, the telangana people okay so, okay. Fact, so if if there is any difference between people of telangana and people of andhra pradesh like mm -hmm. uh, from cultural point of view or from linguistic point of view Yes, there are uh, differences, many differences. Festivals celebrated in Telangana are different. Okay. For example, Bhatkama is there. Bhatkama, there is no flower, floral, uh, there is no frame. These women uh, frame this, you know, uh, frame uh, this with the flowers and keeping the flowers and uh, at the center all uh, gather around and they go on uh, playing uh, this no batkamma while singing uh, this no folk songs okay. and okay. in andhra area they won't uh, these do this okay. and at the same okay. time there is a linguistic difference also here the people speak uh, in a different manner they speak in a different manner they think that theirs is right but in fact uh, this telangana language is uh, more correct uh, as for the some poets Okay, so poet okay. is that Telangana language is more correct, they say. But okay, okay. differences. Man, there were that, differences. That means that means uh, language is Telugu, but still that may be yes, more Telugu, soft, Telugu. sophisticated fact, and more is, articulate, right? Yes, yes, correct. In fact, there is no difference at all. In rural areas, we find uh, we find slangs, different uh, uh, there's no rural languages. Hmm. They have got they also have got these rural languages, hmm. and we have got these rural languages. But hmm. they have they have treated it as a separate language, hmm. and uh, they ignored and they gave less priority, and they uh, insulted sometimes. Oh, this is Telangana language. People okay. do not know. Uh, this no in that way uh, and that is people, dialect actually uh, that is dialect and uh, dialects uh, dialect are very po popular in dialect. regional areas yes. and we need not uh, speak separately telugu means telugu mm -hmm. we have to speak uh, all educated people should speak in the same manner mm -hmm. but uh, whenever we find use this no what uh, rustic vocabulary or uh, the vocabulary used in villages mm -hmm. rural uh, languages mm -hmm. and they find it different in fact they too have got this rural uh, language and mm -hmm. language slang and dialect uh, they too have got uh, different dialects sometimes we too find faults with them but they find it faults with us and these people took it as a prestige they okay. started <laughs> okay 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 Okay, you talked uh, about um, uh, tribal people many times. So, yes. Miss, uh, uh, what what do you think that uh, okay there? Uh, what are the prominent issues that uh, actually government should address to? Yes, no. These uh, tribal people live in uh, remote places. They don't have water facility. They don't have medical facilities. They they don't have education facilities. They face all kinds of problems. The people living in cities have got all facilities, all amenities, whereas uh, tribal people do not have all these things. Sometimes we find uh, in my novel, a group of uh, villages uh, are there, and that is beside a river. That river always flows. And uh, whenever uh, the river flows, all uh, flows, and these people cannot go to cities. The, uh, the tribal people cannot go to the cities and they cannot have this you no know, what uh, these medical facilities they face all kinds of problems and these uh, leaders uh, promise during the elections we provide you all the things we give you whatever they want you want they say they promise but they do not keep up their promises and in most of the villages they don't have in uh, power they don't have power also they don't have school they don't have this even uh, minimum facilities like a hospital uh, then a health center like that uh, they don't have and whenever they get any disease attacked by any disease they run to cities and if the river flows what happens they cannot go and in that way they met their fate 
they meet their even today also we with these days also they meet their bad fate mm. they die sometimes mm. when they not get uh, this you no know, physical uh, this you no know, medical facilities uh, mm. uh, in cities that is okay. no many problems are there many problems are there they are uh, very innocent and they are uh, misguided by the leaders leaders and uh, they as they do not have education they don't come to know what is going on in the world and what are the tactics of the leaders mm -hmm. that is due to various reasons they face many problems and my wish is that uh, tribal people must not face any kind of problem problems like other people mm -hmm. and uh, there is a lot of change there will be a teacher in that novel he joins uh, as a teacher though he is you know he has uh, inclination desire to work in the city he made up his mind to to work only in the in the tribal village there are some tribal villages previously they had no education and when he started uh, this no school a uh, government appointed a teacher and he encouraged all the students and made all the students educated and they came up and there is you know the, some woman heroine of the novel she also encouraged him and they fall in love ultimately they get married mm -hmm. that is you no know, he is a model teacher and he gets some award for uh, making many reforms bringing about many changes in when in the tribal villages and people have become uh, very uh, knowledge persons they have become enlightened people because mm -hmm. of that uh, uh, the teacher working uh, in the same village for a long time mm -hmm. so that's uh, these are the problems uh, faced by the tribal people uh, and uh, they are different from the problems faced by other people mm -hmm. they are very serious and they are very problematic more problematic than the uh, other people they are facing okay it was a very good uh, talk with you so uh, Thank you. thanks thanks for sharing your valuable views and insight rather from telangana state okay uh, thank you thank you very much sir i am also very happy to speak to you this is for the first time okay. speaking to you i have taken uh, this no initiation i must speak to uh, our uh, elevated editor kurshi dalam sir okay. so i did it today sir okay sir okay mm. thank you okay thank you.